This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I mean, I covered yesterday, I talked about how they're rebooting The Witches, the movie. Get a load of what else is coming out this fall. But again, we're all just crazy Christians, right? Take a look for yourself. You are chopped once. The most powerful trio of witches. Hi, I can't believe I'm standing here looking at the Charmed Ones. <laughs> me either. Yeah, I can't no, believe I'm a Charmed One. <laughs> I know. I'm, yeah, hasn't sunk in yet. Yes. Were you fans of the original series at all, or is this totally? I'm aware of it. I, I didn't watch it, but I knew it, you know, I knew it as a sort of entity, and it definitely, you know, we were saying it's like a such a pop culture moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I knew what it was, and everybody seems to. Um, but no, I hadn't. I, I watched the pilot in the end, you know, and we started to shoot just to get an idea. But yeah. Reboots are, are sort of, some are very similar, some are very different. Would you say that yours has some, you know, little wink nods to the original? Absolutely. Yeah. We have some nods. Yeah. We definitely respect what was, what was made and the foundation that they created, while also putting a twist on it and including new, very important themes yeah. um, that are sort of... I don't know, it's, it, 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 it's a strong story to be telling at this point in time. Yeah, I really like how current it is. I appreciate that. I think it's important for um, young and old people to have that sort of entertainment with also representation of st stuff that's like really important and current and it's like, oh, I care about that too. I think one of the reasons that the original show you know, resonated with people is sort of that sisterly dynamic between the three of them. How can each of you sort of describe where your sister falls in the, in the dynamic situation? Yeah, um, I play Mel, Melanie. Um, I'm the older sister, so I think so, before our new sister comes into the picture. Um, she's an activist, she's passionate, she's a teacher, um, and she's really excited about being a witch. She's like very welcoming towards this new idea of changing the world. Um, and she's very different from her younger sister. Yeah. Um, so I play Maggie, um, and she's, she's the youngest of the three. And she has some reservations about the, the whole witch thing. She's got an agenda that includes rushing a sorority, and um, she's, she's really funny. She's yeah, she's definitely the comic relief. Yeah, I think. She, she, I watched the pilot last night, and I was I was like, <laughs> you know, laughing out loud. At I'm bits. glad. I don't even like wearing witch costumes on Halloween. Like, not even slutty ones. But. So now they're rebooting, remaking the television show Charmed. Must be a coincidence, right? I mean, boy, all of this stuff with feminism, with these witches coming out in the open, admitting that they're witches. Just like I said many times over with Taylor Swift's Are We Out of the Woods Yet? Are We in the Clear? Which is about all these witches coming out of the supposed woods and coming into the public spotlight. And you can see in this trailer, look at some of the stuff that they show. The mind control that I constantly talk about that they place on everybody. Find strength in yourself. Talking about the Book of Shadows and talking about how these witches are going to protect the innocent from demons. So, of course, the witches are being portrayed as heroes. They're going to embrace and accept their roots because, you know, they're related to uh, a lineage of witches, which a lot of these witches in Hollywood obviously are. They're all bloodline related. But then again, there's tons of witches who just see shows like this or people who see shows like this and then suddenly want to practice witchcraft because they... Oh, it looks cool. Oh, it's like having superpowers, right? Wink, wink, this rise in superpowers. As far as, you know, superhero movies with Superman and Spider-Man and the Avengers and all this nonsense that everybody watches. And they do all these shows where, like, what superpower would you have, right? This is all promoting witchcraft. That's the whole point of it. It's just another way to indoctrinate people. Oh, what superhero skill would you have? Oh, I would fly or I would do this. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, what they're telling you, and they're going to be telling people, is through transhumanism, through sorcery, through witchcraft, right? To make mixing man and computer, that all of these people are going to become superheroes with superpowers, right? And that's why they use these quotes in all these commercials. You know, be yourself and find your inner strength and find your inner power. And like I just recently said about remakes. Why do they do remakes? Because they continue to want to indoctrinate each generation with the same mind control programming. Okay? All these movies are the same. All these shows are the same. 
They're all promoting witchcraft and sorcery. It's the same stuff. You think that there's people, you know how many people out there want to be screenwriters and want to make movies, not because they're satanic, because, you know, they don't have a clue about this stuff and they grew up and they said, oh, I'd love to make movies because movies, you know, made me happy when I was a kid or they were inspired by it, right? And they come up with scripts and ideas. They're never getting in. Why do you think they just keep remaking stuff? You think people out there don't have original ideas and new ideas? Because it doesn't fit the mold. You know, somebody writing an inspirational story about Jesus isn't going to make it in Hollywood. Somebody writing an inspirational story that has nothing to do with, you know, witchcraft or anything like that. You think they're going to put money behind it? Because the programming behind it isn't the type of MK Ultra programming that they want. They want Wizard of Oz over and over. They want witches over and over. They want Charm over and over. Cinderella over and over. Beauty and the Beast over and over. I mean, how many times can people see it? And nobody says boo. Nobody goes, do I need to see Beauty and the Beast again? Right? Do I need to see this crap over and over? Oh, they just get excited. They're like, I loved Beauty and the Beast when I was a kid. And now they're making another one. How wonderful. That's great. We need to see it again with new actors and the same story. I mean, give me a break. So the Charmed reboot is now coming out this fall. Don't forget what I've already covered. Let's talk about what I've covered just this week, right? We won't even get into Bourdain and talking about these women like Rose McGowan and stuff who are openly admitting to being witches. Let's just talk about MK Ultra programming on television. This fall, American Horror Story is bringing back Coven, the witches from Coven. They're going to be pushing witches, just like the guy tweeted who produces the show. You know, witches are going to run wild. Witches rule this fall. Charm coming out this fall. The witches being remade right now. I don't know the release date on it. I mean, you can't make it up. These are all mainstream shows that are talking about and promoting witches as if it's a good thing empowering witches, right? American Horror Story, which is supposed to be scary, the witches are going to be portrayed again, really, as the good people. There's good witches and bad, and then charm is the witches are going to be saving people from demons, right? As it says here, Charmed is back. What's it about? Here's everything you need to know about the new CW series about three demon-hunting witches. So the witches are hunting the demons. So even though the witches really are the demons, I wonder who the demon hunting witches are going to be. What are they? They're going to be hunting demons. Does that mean they're going to be hunting Christians? Because everything's inverted with these people. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just going to be funny. I mean, they might show actual, oh, yeah, they're going to hunt demons and Satanists and stuff like that to make witches look like they're good people. So people go, no, witches are against Satan and against the occult and all that stuff. Look, just like Charm, I want to become a witch because they're going after evil. Christian women will probably want to become witches because they'll say, no, it's, you know, it's thirty indoctrinate everybody with this new age, like I've said a million times, new age Christianity which incorporates all these forms of witchcraft with using, you know, whatever the, what do you call them? Like, you know, uh, sages, crystals, all this crap. People have no idea what they're doing. They're just going with the flow because remember, nobody wants to be negative. Nobody wants to be a hater. They leave that stuff to people like me. And then I get crapped on because it's not positive and it's not, oh, you're giving off negative energy. I'm trying to help people wake up to the crap that's going on. It's not hard to see it, but apparently people out there don't want to see it. Apparently people out there want to live in lollipop lands. And they want their kids to, well, I grew up watching Charmed and I didn't become a witch. So now I'm going to let my daughter watch Charmed. Right. But what kind of Christian are you? Are you, the, is the mother, is the mother into new age? Of course she probably is, right? And spirituality, you know? I mean, they're showing in this trailer the Book of Shadows, and they're like, the Book of Shadows, and we're going to protect people with our sorcery and witchcraft. And nobody out there blinks. Amazing. It's all right in front of our faces. Just nobody seems to care anymore. A reboot of another crappy show. The only purpose is to indoctrinate another generation. We're trying to make witchcraft look cool and fun and safe and helpful. Right? More deception. We are living in a time period where the deception is so deep and it is so all over the place. It's amazing to me 
how we still have so many people who are sound asleep to this or just refuse to believe it's going on. Well, sooner or later, they're going to have to deal with it because sooner or later, the trumpets are going to sound. Okay, and people have free will. God gave us free will. So people better make the right choice, and that's accepting our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.